There are some fields where you need to have local boots on the ground, and one of those is the electrical field. Because, as Mark Taylor, the electrical technology instructor at the Trumbull Career and Technical Center says, if the power goes out in your house, you can't pick it up and ship it somewhere else to get it fixed. In this week's Brain Gain Brief, we begin at TCTC, where students are getting on the job training in the classroom. Brain Gain is sponsored by Farmers National Bank and the Mahoney Valley Manufacturers Coalition. Blaine Spittler is a senior enrolled in the Electrical Technology Program at TCTC. When not at school, he's employed by Ajax Toco. After graduation, he says he plans to go to the Pittsburgh Institute of Aeronautics or Youngstown State University. I plan to become an electrical engineer and actually um, Ajax is offering to pay for it in full but I would have to do full time and 40 hours a week, well 40 hours a week there and then night classes. Spittler is one of 12 students enrolled in the course which works with industry partners such as VEC and REM Electronics to give students real work experience. Once they partner with a business and they're out working, then uh, that company trains them, you know, specific to the job that they're doing for the company. But we also have an agreement with the company that they um, are working on some of the learning standards that the students are missing from not being in the lab. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, electrical engineers have an average salary of $101,000 and the industry is set to grow 7% through 2030. Over 60% of all electricians that are out there right now can retire tomorrow. We are in a, in a desperate area in the United States for skilled trades, especially electricians. Taylor says students who graduate from the program can be anything from an LED lighting installer to a fire alarm apprentice. They can also pursue more advanced degrees to become electrical contractors or electrical engineers. You can read more in John Vargo's story. A link is available in the description. While the students at TCTC are learning the hard skills of electrical technology, a program at the Columbiana County Career and Technical Center is teaching students the seven foundational skills of work ethic, attitude, attendance, acceptance, appearance, ambition, appreciation, and accountability. The Bring Your A-Game program at CCCTC reinforces the soft skills that employers have come to expect in the workplace. Students like Josie Glosser and Brandon Blakely, seen here, receive an introduction to the program and are trained in those skills from October through April. Principal Jordan Williams says Bring Your A-Game is developed with the needs of workforce development professionals in mind. And this Saturday, Smash On LLC and Rockbrook Business Services LLC will hold a business startup seminar focused on preparing businesses for success in 2022. The seminar will be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. January 29th at 3019 Belmont Avenue in Youngstown. Topics include taxes, accounting, marketing, and business credit. The seminar is free to business owners and anyone considering starting their own business, but registration is required. Information on how to register is available in the link in the description. And that is going to do it for this week's Brain Gain Brief. For more Brain Gain news, click Brain Gain under the Workforce Development tab at businessjournaldaily.com. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. Brain Gain is sponsored by Farmers National Bank and the Mahoney Valley Manufacturers Coalition.